Our key finding shows that competition with flu in winter may explain why cold infections tend to diminish during winter seasons. So in this study, we actually examined the circulation pattern of 11 different respiratory viruses, and we looked at them at two different levels. On one side, we look at the circulation patterns at the population scale, and on the other hand, we look at the uh, individual infections for single patients. And what we found is that during uh, certain seasons when you have high levels of circulation of influenza, you're less likely uh, to catch a cold caused by a rhinovirus. Our study is based on just over 44,000 cases of respiratory illness that were tested within NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde Health Board between 2005 and 2013. Although quite a lot is known already about how bacteria and viruses interact with one another, where influenza enhances your risk of colonisation with bacteria, a lot less is known about how interactions between viruses occur and whether they occur at all for respiratory viruses. So our study was the first to investigate this. Uh, what we found was that cold viruses can interact in a positive way or cooperative way with one another, but in a negative, competitive way with flu viruses. This has important implications because, as we know, influenza can be severe, so that will require uh, beds in hospitals. But colds, uh, despite the fact they are not generally severe, they are a, a significant cause of absenteeism at work. So basically by understanding these interactions, that can help you to uh, plan ahead when it comes to preparedness at the uh, public health level.